Today we're going to be looking at a coordinate proof and specifically with this coordinate proof we're wanting to show that triangle ABC is an isosceles right triangle. So before we even start the problem let's try to recall what it means to be an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle has two congruent sides meaning two sides with equal measure. We might as well just go over and review all the different types of triangles. So we also have an equilateral triangle, which is all congruent sides. And there's also something called a scalene triangle, which is no congruent sides. Now the reason why it's important to know all three kinds is because this question may be altered and the question may be asking you to classify what kind of triangle it is. So if you are asked to classify based on whether you have no equal sides, two equal sides, or all three equal sides, you would be able to say which triangle it is depending. But for this problem, it's isosceles, so we know we're going to have two congruent sides. Now, in order to determine that, I need to know the measures of each of these. And we have three formulas that we typically look at when we do coordinate proofs. Slope, which looks at the steepness of a line. That won't tell us how long or the length, so I'm not going to use that. Midpoint, which gives you the coordinates of the middle of a line. That won't be helpful. And distance, which tells you how far apart two points are. So distance always gives us length. So we're going to use the distance formula. To recall, I'm going to write the distance formula down. The distance formula is d equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. We have to go through all three pairs of sides, and if we're lucky, we'll get two that are equal right off the bat. But if not, then we're going to have to just do the third side. So I'm just going to start off with side AB. A is negative 2, 4. And B is 6, 2. Honestly, it looks like AC and BC are going to be the congruent sides, okay? So I'm going to leave this one to last. And if the other two don't end up being congruent, I'm going to find those. But just to save time, you can just look at your picture and see which ones look like they'll be equal. And then you can go ahead and do those first, okay? So let's say I were to do AC first. A is negative 2, 4. C is 1, negative 1. So it's going to be 1 minus negative 2 squared plus negative 1 minus 4 squared. Double negative becomes a plus. So this is going to be 3 squared plus negative 5 squared, which will be 9 plus 25, which will be the square root of 34. You can break this down. There's no need to, though, just because we just want to compare if two sides are equal. All right, why don't we go ahead and find the length of CB now, or BC. So B is 6, 2. C is 1, negative 1. Alright. D equals the square root. 1 minus 6 squared plus negative 1 minus 2 squared. This will be negative 5 squared plus negative 3 squared. Which will be 25 plus 9, which is again radical 34. So right now I've proved that this is isosceles because I have two equal sides. So what I would say right now is the triangle is isosceles because AC is equal to BC. There are two congruent sides. So right now I've taken care of proving this triangle to be isosceles, but I would only earn half credit if this was a Regents exam because I haven't done anything with proving that it's a right triangle yet. Now a right triangle is a triangle that has a 90 degree angle. So if I look at this picture, 
it should be pretty obvious that C looks like the only angle that could be 90. Because this one looks acute and this one looks acute. Now, if you want to show that you have a 90 degree angle, that's going to deal with the slope formula. And specifically, we're going to be looking for the slopes to be opposite reciprocals. The reason for that being is because if I have this line, which is vertical, and I have this line, which is horizontal, they would create a 90 degree angle right in this corner. These are opposite reciprocals. Because this line is super steep, its slope is undefined. This line is super flat, its slope is zero. These are opposites of one another. That's how you make a right angle. So I'm going to check and see if these are opposite reciprocals. And to do that, I'm just going to make the triangle rather than dealing with the slope formula. So I'm going to make a triangle from A to C. The rise would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. My run would be 1, 2, 3. So now for slope, the slope of AC is 5 over 3, but negative because this line is going downhill. Now, if there's a 90 degree angle, the slope when I make the triangle over here would have to be the opposite reciprocal. What opposite reciprocal means is that I have this fraction, it will be flipped, that will be the reciprocal portion, so the reciprocal of five over three is three over five, and the sign would be opposite. So if this one is negative, this one's slope will have to be positive. So let's count this slope. One, two, three. And the run is one, two, three, four, five. And this line is going uphill. So the slope for BC is three fifths. The reason why I got the slope of those two lines is because this line and this line, these two lines, AC and BC, are the ones that are making the 90 degree angle. You want to make sure that you're picking the proper pair of lines that would intersect to make the 90 degree angle to check if there's a 90 degree angle. So now my explanation is going to be, there is a right angle at C because the slopes of AC and BC are opposite reciprocals. All right, hopefully that coordinate proof made a bit more sense to you. Just be sure to leave any comments that you guys may have, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!